hello everyone uh, today i'm going to show you how to check which button is clicked uh, so first of all add a new controller empty controller and that is a default controller so uh, button click uh, okay so in the index method you can got it add a view without any model okay and uh, create a two button control it here uh, there is form in which you can add the button and the name property of the button is button and the value is first button first button uh, or you can say the first uh, in which you can add first and the second button you can add the button control uh, as well as the name property is both the same button and the value is second okay so after that you can save the temp data so uh, division section at the rate of temp data button well okay so uh, there is the second button okay when we click on that button control how to get this so uh, there is the uh, method you can say so uh, it here so uh, you can call the same event uh, ASP action is the uh, check and both are the same uh, ASP action uh, check okay now create a ASP check button control C check and in which you can add the string button the name property is the button control so you can add the button control and in which the temp data hold the button value okay what guys uh, if button is double equals to first okay there is a first button in the value field uh, first then the temp data hold is first oops first button clicked and else the temp data hold the second button is clicked because uh, the only two button is there okay after that you can go to the same view check return re redirect to action redirect to action and in which you can pass the action name that is index okay now run this application button click controller uh, now comes to the section button click there is two button when the first button is clicked the first button is clicked and we click on the second button and second button is clicked so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching my all other videos which is related to asp.net core. Thank you very much.